Hey, what's up everyone? It's Tim from Timbo Toys doing another custom figure review or figure appreciation post. This time it's a custom from my friend Brett, who on Instagram is known as Aegis Station. I highly encourage you to uh, check out his Instagram. Um, you can also find his website where you can order some of his custom creations. He um, he makes some really, really cool stuff, makes some excellent droids. And this one I have here is his newest creation. I think it's called, the, he calls it the Blockzar. Um, i sorry if I'm butchering that name, but uh, I think that's what it's called. But uh, he also uh, has made... Um, some of uh, these pup droids here with uh, plants. I think you've maybe seen some of these before. I've got a couple of these, uh, a couple different iterations of these. Um, they're really cool, um, very loved by the community. There's uh, another one that's referred to as the Arizona Tea version, where the droid's green, the plants are pink. Um, kind of reminds you the colors of uh, you know the Arizona Arizona um, Tea. You know the ginseng and honey. Tea, really good, by the way. Um, don't have one of those, but uh, you know, they they look awesome. Um, he's also made uh, some of the oozes. Um, I've got uh, you know a couple of those. There's you know even bigger versions of these, but they're really really cool. Love the stuff that he makes and a great custom toy maker. And uh, I just encourage you uh, check out his site. I'll try to put that in the description so you can find it. But um, Offers some great stuff and great prices too. Um, it's not uh, astronomical, um, but uh, very reasonable, and um, his stuff uh, can go pretty quickly. So uh, I encourage you to find him and uh, follow him, keep up with uh, the things that he's making. But I wanted just to review and talk about uh, his newest creation here, the uh, this block droid. Um, really, really cool. It's uh, fully articulate. Um, so, you know, you've got quite the range of movement with the way that he's made this, um, you know, arms can go up and out, they can turn, um, this one's got a, ray, you know, a gun, like a ray gun, um, really, really cool looking, um, and, uh, it'll fit both hands. I'll take it out here too. It does come out if you want it to come out, but, um, the gun's really, really cool. It has, uh, if you look at it, it has kind of a, like a fifties look to it. Um, so it's just. I don't know. Just awesome. Just awesome work. Love it. Um, and uh, again, the figure, you know, fully, uh, fully articulate, lots of fun poses that you can do with this and just moving things around. Um, really, really like it and dig it. And the arms, you know, the legs too, as well. Um, you know, you can get some really, uh, you know, cool shots with, with uh, how you pose him. Um, that's kind of a cool one right there. Um, you could also, uh, this is kind of fun to do, but uh, do the Jean Claude Van Damme splits here um, with your with your droid. Now, uh, tell me a droid that uh, you know can do the Jean Claude Van Damme splits. Um, yeah, not not too many. So, um, but really, really cool. Um, just a fun droid to have. And uh, one of the other cool features about this uh, droid too, I want to show you that uh, I think was to be somewhat of a surprise. Um, is that uh, it glows under the black light. So uh, if you've got a black light in your station, um, just, uh, you know, this I'm just using a flashlight black light. But, uh, you know, if you had a black light permanently mounted in your station or your diorama, whatever it is, uh, you know, you're going to really enjoy, uh, you know, the way uh, that makes this, uh, this guy glow. It's just super cool. I'm really, really excited. I got the uh, the green one. Um, there's also a red version too as well. And I think there's another new version that almost looked like a like an army green that's coming out. Um, I'm sure he'll make some different uh, versions of this. But uh, it's just a really, really cool custom 3D printed figure. It's amazing uh, what Brett was able to do with uh, the design of it, the articulation of it. Um, just a lot of fun. Um, if you're wondering scale-wise... Uh, what this looks like and how it scales. Um, it uh, scales really well with both scales. Uh, here's a, you know, 1 18th or 3 75 uh, inch figure. And you could see the, uh, uh, the droid is pretty good size. Uh, it could be kind of a, a you know, um, a security guard or, you know, maybe, uh, you know, someone's building an army of these to, you know, take on, uh, take on, you know, Mandalorians or, 
the Empire, whatever. Um, they do scale well with the uh, 375. Um, I'll probably mostly be using mine with, uh, with Black Series. So, uh, you know, here's a Black Series uh, Ned B. And uh, you can see, um, you know, it. Uh, I think it scales really well with the 112 scale. Um, but uh, you can use it for both scales. So that's really cool. I like when you can, you know, make usage uh, of things for both scales. Um, you know, I kind of sometimes go back and forth with, you know, building things in uh, 112 scale, building things in the 118th scale. And so always cool to have a piece that will work with both scales. So, um, so yeah, just, uh, again, really, really cool. Uh, I encourage you to check out his page. Um, I, I don't think he has a YouTube channel. Brett, if you do, I'm sorry. Uh, I, um, that I, I don't know if I'm subscribed to it. I'll have to find it. But uh, I know uh, he's very active on Instagram and he's got a website where you can order all his cool droids and bots. And uh, so I just encourage you to check out Aegis Station. Aegis Station. Um, really, really awesome, awesome customs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget, uh, would love to have uh, you as a subscriber. Would love to have a like. Um, all right, you take care. Bye.